Hey what's up this is uh, Santosh Shetty here thank you so much for uh, coming checking this video out now you might be uh, you know thinking of creating uh, building an online business maybe you are trying to do it part time or maybe you are trying to do it full time whatever that is you have not been able to finalize what niche you want to get into or what business category you want to get into so in this video you're going to learn how to not just find your niche but also validate your niche test it out and see if there is a response in the market so that's what you're going to learn okay so let's get to it all right here we are so uh, we are, you are going to learn how to identify your niche using these three powerful steps okay they are simple but very very powerful uh i hope you have like a book and a pen handy because this is going to be more like an exercise that you can try out so the first thing is creating your list to get to the macro niche macro niche means your main business category so there are multiple businesses out there and uh, uh, there is this main category of business and under that you have sub categories of business which we'll get into in some time we are going to narrow down and find out where you belong all right so uh, how to create this list is first thing what you have to do is list uh, draw columns in a piece of paper the first column list the things that you love doing there might be a lot of things that you uh, you know may love doing list everything out bigger the list better and it will be able to help you uh, get clarity on understanding where you belong online okay so create a list of the things that you love doing second thing what are your top skills what are you skillful at okay you might be skillful at lot of things some of the things you may not be even aware that you are skillful at so when you start listing it down right Uh, that awareness will come and you will get a understanding of the things that you're skillful at you'll be amazed the things that you're skillful at so make a list of uh, those things and the third thing is what specialized knowledge do you have everything that is that you are knowledgeable knowledgeable about every subject that you're knowledgeable about make a list of those things bigger the list better okay even this is going to amaze you you will be super proud of yourself once you look at this list okay and the fourth thing is what is that knowledge that you would like to acquire you so there are there, you're probably passionate about something you would love to learn something uh and you would like to acquire that knowledge okay so make a list of those things as well and finally once you have this entire list right this is going to be a big list once you start listing it you might have like 40 50 things over here from this list you got to choose something which gets repeated something is getting repeated in all of these things then that is ideally your niche and uh, list the things you would love to do for the rest of your life from the list that you just created from all these columns look at these things and uh, list the things that you would love to do for the rest of your life and list the things that you would love to teach for the rest of your life this is an online business and you would be creating digital products so teaching and coaching is part of the game so you have to get comfortable with it as you build your business you will get better and better even if you are a introvert if you are not comfortable uh teaching or if you are not comfortable in front of the camera you just need to jump into it eventually uh like not eventually in the sense you know just maybe one 10 15 sessions you'll get good at it 10 15 times in front of the camera you'll just get comfortable I'm like super introvert but <coughs> as soon as I you know look at the camera I just switch off my uh, introvertness and just start talking right so it's going to happen to you as well it's not very difficult you just need to start doing it okay so once you have this this list list of things you would love to do list of things you would love to teach and something which gets repeated understand uh create uh, understand what kind of business does it fall into okay like the main category of it. you might see a majority of the things in this list that you just created falls into a certain kind of a business category it can be health and health and wellness it can be mindfulness it can be make money online affiliate marketing it can be finance you know things like this the main category of the business So once you know what is your main category of the business just write it down and then we are going to 
break that up as well go deeper into it and understand where you belong all right so that's one the second step is going micro so when we are uh, talking about micro we are getting to a smaller group of people macro is think of it like big ocean it is too broad and too many things happening there too much of noise and you are for people uh, for you to get noticed in an ocean it's going to be very difficult but if you are in a smaller space let's say you are in a swimming pool right you can be noticed easily because it's a smaller group of people so that is a major difference between targeting a macro audience and a micro audience so get to a small group now when we are talking about small group one is micro target market this is the list that you need to create whoever your target audience is create a persona like a customer persona what is the age group are they male are they female are they uh, married are they parents or yet to be parents are they a working professional are they businessmen single mom single dad salesman these are just some of the examples but based on what niche you are into based on who you want to target create a customer persona that becomes your micro target market and second thing is micro language now wherever you are right if you're not comfortable communicating in let's say english but you're comfortable in communicating using your own uh, regional language go ahead and uh, do that because there are people who you know use the language and who would be interested in what you have to say and what you have to sell like whatever you have digital product journey product anything that you have so do that and if you do this right what happens is you immediately set yourself a little unique than rest of the people because most of the people in the world uh, when they are building an online business they you know speak in english but very few people speak regional language which means you are getting to a niche which is again a smaller group okay so that is that and micro location you don't have to target the entire world like you know you don't have to get the attention of everybody in the ocean you don't have to do that you just need to get attention of a small group of people when you are starting so choose your city and ideally when you are choosing your city choose your own city because you'll be able to connect with people in your own city way better than connect with somebody maybe 1000 kilometers or 1000 miles away from you right because you'll be able to relate to the things that is happening in your city in your videos in your podcast or even in your social media posts and stuff like that so start with the uh, your own location and once your business once income starts coming into your business then you can slowly expand to other cities then state and province then country and then eventually the world it all depends on the kind of budget you'll have for your ads all right so go micro and the third thing this is the most important thing which is validation validation i'm going to um, um share with you what i do it's a very very easy way to do it i mean there is a quicker way to do it and there is like a organic way to do it which will take a little bit of time i'm going to show you both the ways okay first one is once you know what your micro niche is who are the people you are going to target and what is the category of business that you are getting into create content for your uh, micro niche okay and once uh, use social media youtube podcast create a free ebook and you know uh, list it in your website and let people engage with these things look at the kind of response that you get look at the kind of comments that you get check if people like your post or you know uh go through any of your content if there are people doing that what that means is people are interested in what you have to say that means there is a market the only problem with this is create content from your macro niche when you, uh, micro niche when you're starting off you may not have a large following people may not know you so it will take that much time for you to learn whether people are interested in what you have okay this is the easiest and the quicker way check response organic response i already sp- spoke about run ads okay 
and the best place to run ads to check something like this is uh, facebook and instagram the ads are like super cheap uh, uh to get um, engagement and stuff like that what you can do is maybe create a ebook around your micro niche and uh, for free don't charge anything and run ads to it your local city your local uh, maybe if you choose a local language local language and whatever cus- uh, customer persona that you created using that demography create an ad and let them check your ebook let them download it let them read it follow up with them through emails you know you got to have a email marketing software as well to do that follow up with them and understand the kind of response that you're going to get with your ebook if people are engaging with your ebook that means your micro niche has uh potential okay and after that you can start building on your micro niche you can start creating digital products you can start creating journey products and uh, you know go online like super super fast i hope that helped now there is uh, another thing that i didn't speak about which is um, Uh, customer persona is fine macro niche is fine so under macro niche you need to you need to figure out what are the different categories that are there it's very very easy to find that out just um, whatever your macro niche uh, macro niche is right what you can do is go to chat gpt uh, open ai just look for chat gpt in google it is free to use once you open that whatever your macro niche is ask chat gpt what are the sub business categories of your macro niche it can be like for example what are the sub business category under fitness or what are the business categories under finance so it's going to give you a list or you can straight off ask list maybe 20 different business categories that is under uh health you know you can ask questions like that uh, to chat gpt and it's going to give you a list of sub categories and once you have that sub categories you can break it up further or if that is something that you would love to do connect that with your uh persona the customer persona we talk about uh, we spoke about demography and run uh, create a ebook and run validation now building an online business is not just about creating uh finding your niche there is way more than that don't you agree there is like you know uh, once you have finalized your niche you still have to create your digital products you have to create your uh you know services maybe consulting services whatever de- everything depends on what niche you got into so you have to create all that you have to create funnels you have to make sure the funnel is like a multiple uh income source funnel so that you can maximize your profit so all there are multiple things to it when you're building online business once you know what your niche is okay so if you are interested in building an online business uh, which is you know which which can help you start part time and then go on full time then i'm inviting you to one of my free webinar i do it every week uh, you can go ahead and register to it it is on the secrets of building an internet abundance business which can give you freedom and it can it can get you from the get you out from the daily grind of life Okay so if you're interested go ahead and register with register to it this is the link and you'll also find the link below the description all right okay so if you found this video valuable don't forget to give me a like and hit the subscribe button so that uh, uh you get you know so that you get notified whenever i upload any videos i create videos only around building an internet abundant business uh building a profitable business online basically So if you are if you are somebody who will be interested in that kind of an content make sure you subscribe to the channel okay so that's about it this is uh, santosh shetty here thank you so much for listening you have a wonderful day and i'll see you soon.